Uh, 70 something. Ain't that right, Pops? Um, either I'm slower, I'm older, I am slower, or something. That is two piece. I had to make this this piece of roundness sunlit because it just didn't work for some reason. So I used stir sticks to hot glue it behind. That's the second piece, and the first piece is this. And these little hanger things are what's holding it up there. And there's a hot wire, hot wire to the sunroof, and there's a hot wire to the fans. And I did these, and then I make some curtains, cover this in gator, which is not blurry at all, really. And then uh, I did the, this headliner. And it's not the easiest thing to do. I'm not saying I'm all that in a bag of chips, but it's not easy to do because this is three different piece liners from different vans because the Astro van doesn't come with a headliner and it doesn't come with clips or anything to make the headliner stay up in there. Um, yeah. So what, the console is, is all pre-wired but not hooked up. Um, yeah. Now what I'm going to do, I'm only going to work on this for a couple days. And then uh, I got to put insurance on my Challenger because it's time. And I need to bring it out here and put a roll bar in it. Um, it's done besides a roll bar, but um, I'm not driving without a roll bar because I know me. That's all I can say about that one. Um, yeah. Old cars. Uh, I do like them. I don't, I don't dig the rust. I'm sure they drove this through the winter time. Um, this is pretty, this is pretty tasty. I mean, the frame is just turbine too. Um, of course, you know, I know this is gone. Uh, where did I stop? I think I have to weld this in and then this is all salvageable. And then, uh, God, that rust. It looks like I deadened some, some of it. This is just a hanging. That's pretty fucking. See, that's pretty nice. Uh, that goes it's maybe up there. I don't know. It's, anything's possible because uh, when you wait and work on something and wait too fucking long and then come back to it, you think you're gonna remember shit and you don't remember nothing. Okay. So basically, why it's, the reason I'm gonna start doing these rockers is because I want to put the other ground effect on. I want to have this. Um, that's why I did the headline. I wanted it to be the pieces not be laying around the garage forever. Put it that way. When I put the chip, bring the challenger in, because pieces get lost. Um, that's all I can say. Pieces get lost. In my garage anyway. And I just get tired of them getting lost. Hello. Hello. There you go. Um, you think you're gonna remember what goes where, when, and how, and I don't. I think I'm gonna, but I don't. That's all I got to say today. Um, yeah. I think it's time to sell my lift because this one doesn't get used, and I'd rather use this because it's just easier to work on exhaust and stuff like that. I can see why um, my little storage bend in here. Yeah, there's a chopper underneath there. Yep. All my cushions for the bed. But I see why I. Um, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I got more than that. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine ounces, I mean, nine cans, 15 ounces a can of 
undercoating. That's that's what I'm going to spray underneath the van. <laughs> Yay. Mm-hmm. So it won't rust anymore. Not that um, it's going to be a show van, but I want it to last my lifetime. Uh, parental guidance and user discretion advice. This is where I've learned. Fuck the guy that owns the van next time. I used to restore this shit the best of my ability, and now I fucking don't because there's certain cars that deserve my time and certain cars that don't deserve my time. And does that van deserve my time? No, not really. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I like it, but she's a rust bucket bitch. Okay? There's no, there's no fucking way around it. It's a rust bucket bitch. You can see I fixed that. This was um fun. Come on. Really, it got locked. Yep, it locked itself. Son of a bitch. Anyway, I cut that uh, trim around um, the round the window thing or whatever, a quarter inch, to make it fit. And I knew it wasn't crazy. Hey, Grady, son of. We go through, me and my wife go through Hagerty for our challengers, and I knew I wasn't crazy when I was a kid. And we got this in the mail today, and I'm like, ha ha. What is that? I don't know about this. This is dual four into made into one four. I would think it would puddle a little bit, the gas, but hey, to each your own. But what is that right there? That's a see through valve cover. Don't know if it's new, modern. Or if it's old, I would say it, it can't be old because it would be yellowish in tinge and color. But they did make the see-through valve covers. Actually, they still do. There's one manufacturer, but it's way pricey. Anyway, that's good to know, Shil. Um Good to know. That's all I got to say. I'm going to start doing some welding. I'm sure I love welding upside down because I like getting burnt. Yeah. Because, you know, I got jackets and everything and gloves and I won't wear it because my skin is tough, I guess, whatever, I don't know. Anyway, peace of property, peace of oneself, peace on earth, rest in peace, bigger piece of pie, peace of action, piece of pussy, piece of corn dog, piece of pizza, and when the big dogs get all done eating, even the puppies get a piece of something, motherfucker. I've had this van for four years. Yeah, about the time the house burnt down. I bought it. Um, yeah, I got a lot of time in, into the interior. That's where I haven't done the body work yet. There's a lot of time in the interior. A lot. A lot of wires. Wow. It should be fun. Should be able to go on vacation and be self contained with the refrigerator, microwave, coffee pot, air fryer, and my own bed. And dual batteries. And a solar panel I got still got to put on top of the roof. And I got chargers on the batteries. So if I go to a park or whatever, I can plug it in. Anyway, um, I'm just rambling, so I'm going to call it a day. Say goodnight, Irene. Say goodnight, Irene.